What up, YouTube fam? It's April G. Showers and DJ Jackson. Whoop, whoop. Episode one of One to One with Mom and Son. So, what brought this about was we were watching a reaction that I did to Easy Meal, wasn't it? Mm hmm. And you thought that a line that he said was something about hunting and fishing when it was like deficient or something. Yeah, I think it was the song Fraud, F R A U D, Fraud, or as we say it in the country, Fraud. And at the beginning, he says, um, stuck in your box and you're hella deficient, which I did not catch until after we were watching it back and i said oh my god because i said in the reaction stuck in your box hunting and fishing and then um he goes on to say Somebody i'm on a yacht and i'm um uh, efficient so he called them hella deficient and he said he was efficient which makes more sense duh but then the hunting and fishing kind of made sense because of the yacht. Anyway. Anyway, so, so that's, pretty much that started conversation between us about hunting and fishing. Hunting and fishing, whether it's okay. She thought, she thinks that and it's I said, I not said, good. I think it's fine. Well, I said in the reaction, you know, uh, you know, I'm not, I think I said in the reaction, I don't do the hunting and fishing thing you know what i'm saying like it's just okay let's just have a conversation about this son okay because, look no you look hunting for sport oh by the way all the opinions expressed in this video are mine and his alone and their opinions so and don't get offended on, uh, only opinions of me and him you don't have to agree you don't have to like it that's totally cool we're not like representing any sort of anybody else's opinions but our own yeah it's sad we gotta say that it really sad it's but an that's, opinion that's the times we live in all right anyway so so to me if you're hunting or fishing for sport like and i mean sport like oh hey hey dave want to go fishing today on the river okay and then y'all go and you go fishing, you and Dave go fishing, right? Now, if you go fishing just to fish and, and chill with the guys and you free the fish back to their home with their families, then that's cool. But if you go fishing to catch the fish and then kill them, especially to stuff them and put them up on a wood thing in your house that is wrong okay look so we're talking about fishing right now so pretty much it's same with hunting what's the difference between fish for sport or fishing just for food because like if I'm fish for sport I take it home and cook it and eat it. No, I'm talking, when I say fishing for sport, I mean... For fun. Yeah, just to do it, just for the heck of it. Just exactly. because. And mostly whenever you fish for sport, you either hang it up or you take it home and eat it. Sometimes you let it go. Right, and if you let it go, that's cool. But if you hang it up, that's really, really, really bad. And if you eat it, that's just disgusting. No, it's not. It's the same difference as buying fish at a store. It's just you're getting it yourself and cooking it. And it's better. But I can't sit here and look at something that is alive. And has I've seen it alive. 
and then I kill it. And then I put it on a pan and cook it, and then I eat it. Like I would be thinking in my mind of it when it was alive. You see what I'm saying? Well, all you gotta do is just go to McDonald's, look up a picture of a cow, and then buy a cheeseburger. No, same difference. no, it's not. It's not the same thing. Going out in the pasture and petting the cow and milking the cows and hey, Bessie, how you doing today, Bessie? And and milking the cows and oh, thank you for your milk. Thank you so much. Oh, and and letting them graze. People pet cows. I know you pet them, but like, and you talk to weird. them like whatever. And then the next day, you're like, all right, Bessie, load up in the back of this truck here. I'm going to take you to the slaughterhouse, and we're going to slaughter your whole body up like we're in a damn horror movie on Saul. And poor Bessie ain't got no way out. She's just minding her own business. And she's got her little kids Susie and Billy down here the cabs that need their mama and all of a sudden they're like watching and these humans that they think are nice that's been feeding them and, and petting them you know they're like oh well I wonder where where they're taking my mama and then mama don't ever come back and then uh Billy and Susie is at the pasture and the humans is at the grill next thing they know grilling up some big fat burgers and they're like they're eating my mama and you're completely okay with knowing that about buying something from the store but not at all about just yeah because I didn't see it alive so, you're telling me, an animal that, say, lived a nice life in the, in just, in the wild by itself, that I kill, which a even... A cow don't live in the wild. I'm not talking about a cow, I'm talking about just something in general. Like what? Say a deer. There's yeah. no reason on earth anybody would ever need to eat a deer unless this is a freaking Hunger Games or wearing down war or somebody's taking over America and we done lost electricity and, and can't have no access to stores and we're all stuck in the woods and it's, you know, survival of the fittest type shit. Still, people do. They sell deer jerky in stores. That, But it's not a necessity. Neither is say beef. You could just eat pork or chicken. And I could go without it if I needed to protein but anyway ignoring the eggs whole... well that comes from animals too but anyway yeah exactly so anyway back to my point an animal just an animal in general that's lived a life nice life in say the wild that i kill which even if i didn't someone else would or if, or would have just died and gone to waste gone to waste not go to heaven I'm not talking about the soul, I'm talking about the body. No one go to waste, something something would eat it. Yeah, say like a decomposer or a scavenger, but not like... Yeah, that would be food for them. That they wouldn't have had if you killed it and took it home with your selfish tail when you could have went and bought a salad. So you're a vegetarian? No. So you're an animal activist who's like preach for the animals and you eat meat. Yes. I am a hypocrite. Yeah. <laughs> if you're going to be all about but, this but, animal. But on the flip side of that, if we want to talk about hypocrites, again, the opinions shared in this video are mine and mine alone and his and his alone. Yeah. Anyway. Vegetarians or vegans, whatever which I highly respect and I have no problem with people Me neither, at but all. But my, my question that I would love to pose to them would be if they love animals so much 
why do they eat the animals food what else are they gonna eat that's my question are they just gonna breathe oxygen and die in the nest exactly no so either way it goes it's kind of like screwing over the animals either way why are the animals eating our food huh what why did that vulture just eat my meat that i had what meat just in general say i killed an animal a vulture comes out and eats it where i don't know just in some place like that they're taking from me it's just life that don't make no sense here's my point you may say we're taken from animals, but animals are also taken from us by eating stuff too. It's just peep thing ha things have to eat stuff. Okay, so you're perfectly fine with going and sitting in a boat and holding, which the fishing alone is just stupid and boring in my opinion anyway. I don't understand it. You either sit on a rock, in the grass, on a cliff, on a, in a boat or whatever, you hold a pole, right, or a rod, whatever, with a string on it that's got bait at the end, right? And you just sit there and sit there and sit there until you feel And that's this, the exciting part. This. No, it ain't. And then you feel this, and you then you're like, in. oh, I might, might oh, have something, or it could be a shoe, who knows. But look, oh, oh, after three and a half hours, oh, I finally, you reel it in, right? Mm -hmm. And it's a little minnow. That's a fish. Then you just gonna know. pop it like some sushi? <laughs> no, you just cast a rod back out. Look, I'm gonna say, I can agree with you being against hunting. I can understand why you wouldn't want to do that. But fishing, there's so many fish in the no, sea. No, think about it. Like in a literal think term. Think about it. Okay, uh, okay. Let's say... And I, I'm just gonna give the fish names. It's like we have names. I'm gonna like they have names. Like I named the cows. I'm gonna name the fish. Okay. So you've got Nemo, who's the baby fish, and and Nemo's got a sister named Dory, and then their daddy's name is uh. Howard, and then their mama is Goldie. Okay. So Howard, Goldie, Nemo, and Dory. Got it? Got it. So Howard says, All right, kids and honey, Goldie, Goldie, watch the kids. I'm going to go out and look for some supper. Okay? Okay. All right. Or lunch. We'll say lunch. So, she's like, okay, honey, be careful. So, Goldie stays with Nemo and Dory in their little fish house in the water. Okay. All right. Howard's swimming along, minding his own business, looking for lunch for his family. Minding his own business, right? He sees the biggest wonderful worm that would feed their whole family for two days, right? He's like, oh, wow, thank you, God, for this amazing worm. And he goes over to get the worm for his poor family who hadn't eaten two days because they couldn't find nothing. And he grabs the worm and <laughs> a hook, sharp hook, 
hooks his mouth. He's okay, see? Even she it scares her, even. Well, the I highly hook, doubt whenever a hook goes, it goes... I'm sure the fish gets scared. I'm sure it does. The hook the, uh, a big-ass hook hooks his mouth. Come on, baby. He's okay. He's okay. He's okay. I saw it. The hook hooks his mouth as it's attached to the worm. Now, imagine how terrible that is. You're hungry. You got the worm in your mouth or... or, your, or a Cheeto, let's just say it's something that we like to eat, Cheetos, right? You got a Cheeto on one side and a damn hook hooked to your cheek. And something is pulling you backwards and you're like, where am I going? And, and you're like flopping, trying to get away. Next thing you know, you're in the water. Drowning, because fish, when they come out of water, they can't breathe, right? Yeah. So if we were to get pulled into the water and something's pulling us down, we would be drowning, right? Yeah. So something's pulling it up to where it can't breathe, so... I'll then say, and then it dies, and blah, blah, blah. I and then it, it, the human pulls it up, Holds it up for display. Now imagine this poor fish, Howard, is standing there, or hanging there, <laughs> by a hook on his cheek, bleeding. The worm's there. He's thinking about Dory and Nemo and poor Goldie down there waiting on him. And, and he had the meal for his family. And this stupid human's holding there and saying, Look what I got, boys. I got me a big old catfish here. We finna fry him up tonight, buddy. And he's like, What? What do you mean? You know? But he can't say nothing because humans don't understand fish. And at the same time, he can't breathe. And at the same time, he's got a hook. And then he, they flop him down grab him, take the hook out of his mouth, oh how humane, and he's just flopping there. I know where you're going with this. And then they put him in like a cooler where And then they, they him. throw him on some ice and then do it again. And then Goldie, Nemo, and Dory is just stuck there waiting on Howard and Howard never comes home. Well, what if I, I see what you're saying, but what if I were put in a different scenario? Say Howard goes out again, but instead of a hook, he just sees a smaller fish he can eat, right? So he goes, he goes to get that fish, but then a predator comes out and eats him. Yeah, but that's Same just nature. Scenario. That's nature. All right, some of you for, a lot of people forget that humans are animals scientifically too. We need to eat, we need to hunt, we need to get all this stuff. No. This is not caveman days. Well, duh, but still, we need to eat. Well, look, I'm hungry. I think I'll eat some of this right here. And I didn't have to kill nothing. And that's sad, because humans need more than chocolate. Really? You want me to prove how long I can eat on Duh, these? you can live on them, but still, to be a healthy human being, you need protein, all this stuff. from You need both plants and animals, because humans oh. are omnivores. Oh, hey, really? They me and explain plant. that to vegetarians. Well, that's their choice. I mean, they can live off of plants. However, that's the way it's always been. Meat, plants. It's bad enough to go fishing and put the, poor, the hook in the poor fish's mouth and then unhook it and let it go back. Now, you know, that's bad enough. And then the, the poor fish, they ain't got nurses and doctors where they can stitch it up. They just got to go around with a messed up mouth. <laughs> okay. What if they were to get attacked by another animal? 
then I gotta go around with a messed up whatever. Yeah, but humans, we have emotions and things like that. We we have a choice. Animals can't go to the grocery store and Walmart and buy whatever. It's the same difference. No matter how you're getting the meat or the plant or whatever, it's coming from the same way. But my point is... I can't look at something alive and then eat it. I see what you're saying. But the thing about it Okay, is, for instance. It's going to come from somewhere. You like fish sticks, right? A fish died for that. You like cheeseburgers, right? A cow died for I, that. I, I know that. And I'm it, not and dumb. It, and if you can't sympathize with them whenever you eat it like that. Then because I, I never it. saw it. I never saw it alive. You see what I'm saying? Like, you just order your food, you eat it, you're done. You don't, like, raise it and feed it and pet it and then slaughter it and then cook and then do all... It's different. Okay, look, I can see what you're saying. I said that, and you can probably see what I'm saying to a degree. But imagine you're in the wild, right? If you're I'm in starving. the wild and I'm starving, it's different. A group of, say, let's just say baby pigs, like a family pig. I just gun. said, if I'm in the wild, I have no access to any other type of food. It's different. Okay, but let me finish. Say but like, even then, I would be searching more for berries, fruit, things of that nature, than meat. Okay, say you're on like a, sh like, not a show, but say you're just in, a wild, in the wild group of people right and then say this and you're starving you're hungry and you're trying to get food like you know and you're against the fishing stuff so you're not doing anything with hunting you just try to get berries or fruits or whatever and then this group of pigs like they're like a family you find them and they're like living happily and they start to like you know come and live with you and you know like you start to grow a connection to them but you're starving so would you eat them to save your life, or would you just let them live just because they're... Cute? Am I by myself? No, you're with a group of people. Well, who's the people? I don't know, just some random people. That, that... I don't know. Yeah. Do I know the people? So, let's, say, let's say you've been with them for a month now in the wild. But do I know them personally? No, you've only known them for a month, but you start... But, you know, you've been living with them for a month in the wild, and they've helped. They've helped what? Get food, build shelter, all that kind of what stuff. What kind of food? I don't know whatever food if you didn't want to eat stuff and they probably just get you berries or whatever then i keep eating berries but say you can't find any i mean you're starving the group's starving the pigs are out there living right so yeah. the pigs are eating something right so the pigs are eating something but you don't know where so i'd figure out i'd watch and observe the pigs and figure out what the hell the pigs was eating and that's what i'd eat so instead of killing an easy food source to both to get protein and feed the group, you just go and observe pigs to find berries. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is not going to work in a lot of survival situations. That could work, I guess, but, like, come on. I would make them my pets. Kind of like the Jungle Book. <laughs> what? That's hilarious. Like the Jungle starving. Book. What's like his the name? Jungle Book. Baloo is the bear, and what's the dude's name? Like. Mowgli. Mowgli. He was raised by animals. In a cartoon. It can still happen. I guess so, but literally. And he, he lived out in the wild and did not ever one time kill to eat meat the only thing they ate was bugs and it'd well, be it's a, a cold cartoon. day in hell before i ate a bug because it's a cartoon from disney they wouldn't want to put murder and hunting in their cartoon for kids they show murder and lion king what are you talking about murder where he just drops him into a herd and then it just doesn't show it doesn't show them actually. The well, they could show a flash a scene and then go back and then Mowgli's eating 
a wolf or whatever. That's not... Still, I don't get it. I just don't understand why in an actual survival situation you got the said. Jungle Book. It works for Mowgli. In a cartoon. So? So you're saying that deep in the ocean, Pacific Ocean, there's a sponge living next to his squid neighbor and his patrick. Well, his do we, will we ever really know? Probably not, but okay. I highly doubt that. We never know. SpongeBob is truthful, according to her. You never know. It's a real, that is a non We really show. don't know, though, when we're not around, how animals really do act communicate and stuff like that we really don't know seriously we have a security camera i mean we really seriously don't know i gotta do is just set up a camera and see how they interact and they just do what they normally do whenever we're around and like what i really don't get is people that go hunting and then post pictures like oh i got an 18 point buck chop their heads off, get it stuffed, and put it on a wood thing, and put it on, and they got animal heads all over their walls. Now, please explain the relevance of that. All right, so the None. whole posting online thing is kind of dumb. I don't care about posting online. The whole relevance of all, uh, of having heads of dead animals as decorations. I mean, they look pretty cool. So no relevance other than no relevance they to look cool. posters of those other than... Nothing died to ha for the poster. A tree? A tree didn't die. Yeah, cut it down to make paper. And it grows back. That's not how a tree works. You don't just cut it down and it just grows back. That tree's dead, and you use a more seeds to plant different trees. That tree's dead. But the tree's different than an animal. Okay. Still, something died for those. So you would literally be one of those people who would hunt and have dead heads all over you. No, just like, I, if I were to have, if I were to have one, I'd just have like one. No, you wouldn't. You, you'd better hide it when I come to visit you. <laughs> I swear. You wouldn't have it no more. You better not have none of the bear rugs or them deer heads or no stuffed fish Look, or no none of that. The only thing that I thought looked cool, I, I would think that looked cool is just like a single deer. That's it. That's Too it. many are excessive and they don't look good. I'm disappointed. Well, I'm sad that you would observe a pig. So you would go in the woods and shoot an innocent deer just to chop its head off and have it stuffed and put on a wooden plaque and hang it on your wall. Just for that sole purpose. No, not just for that sole purpose. Of course not. I probably make food out of it and stuff too. Not for that sole purpose. That's stupid. That's what I'm saying. A lot of people do that. A lot of people go. No, I'm not saying I do it just for that purpose. A lot of people like collect dead animal heads. To have no, I wouldn't collect them. If I were to have, have like one, stuffed have rabbits and. Fox and all no. kinds of crap. Look, if I were to have one, I'd just have one. If I were to have one. No, you wouldn't. If I was alive. Well, if, well duh, but if it was my choice and I had to have one, I'd have one. No, you there. wouldn't. Not if I'm alive. Because you get I my would point. go to your house, even if you're 60 and I'm 80, and I would rip that mug off the wall. Even if I broke my hip and ended up in the hospital. I call the cops for robbery. I don't care. I'm 80 years old. What are they going to do? I'm fisting die anyway. 
It's just <laughs> sad that you do that. For it, the deer. It's sad that people would ha hang dead animals on their walls or like have a, a dead fox stuffed basically why just go buy stuffed animals why not just buy there's stuffed animals you can buy online walmart any store any animal you want i got a stuffed turtle right over here give me a second What? It's the turtle you're talking about. Right here. This one. Yeah. You're telling me that this is the same thing as a realistic cat. But why would you want to kill I wouldn't kill it just for that. I told you that. Turtle. Like if your thing is to just have animals propped up on your walls and around just go buy stuffed animals i'm sure there's ways to make them look real okay look so you're telling me that if i say want to invite my friends over would they be like hmm those are some cool animal heads you have in your walls or hmm those are some really nice stuffed animals you have in your walls no i'm not talking about get like a freaking unicorn and like nail it to your wall i mean like there's it's 2021 there's got to be a way where you could buy like like that stuffed turtle why would i buy take that? it somewhere there's, there's got to be some places to make it look real and then put it on just a wood thing or whatever i'm cool with having a fake deer head as long as it's just you know looks realistic that's my point i'm cool with that well we're cool but i'm not pulling up my uncle by no stuffed animal and on then, okay let's go back to this point and then we're gonna we're done all with, right with what's this combo all right let's say okay what's a common household pet besides a dog oh i know where you're going with this uh-uh i want to know a cat a cat yeah cats all are right. pretty cool Cats. I like cats. I'm not a big cat person, but I'm, like I'm not going to be mean to them or nothing. So, anyway, let's say, um, hell, I don't know. Let's say there's a group of people that the only kind of meat they can or they will eat is cats, okay? Okay. Oh. And let's say they let's say we have a pet cat. Oh. Alright. Let's say they break in our house and get our cat and tie us to a chair and hold us hostage say we have four or five cats right say they hold us hostage and we've had these pet cats ever since you was born you love these okay. cats okay okay we're okay now i don't so, know where you're going with this this is really weird they hold they hold us hostage right they're not feeding us anything but the sunny water Alright. <laughs> Nestle. Again, opinions only here. I don't drink water at all. I just hear that people say some bad stuff about Dasani. I don't know. I don't know nothing. Because I don't, don't drink try. water and I ain't gonna drink water unless it's a situation Amy. where I'm gonna die. This isn't about water. This is about, I guess, so, murdering cats. So, uh, no. No. So, they're holding us hostage, right? Yeah. Me and you. Just me and you. All right. We have, Being hold we hostage, have, we have a cat. We have five pet cats. Okay, so we're crazy. No, we just have five pet cats. Okay. All right. And these people break in, and they're holding us hostage. And the only thing they're giving us is, like, bread and water, right? All right. It's, and it's, it's two of them, right? A little bitty, bitty woman, and then... Guy. A regular size guy. Okay. 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 
Well, they don't want to either one of them leave because they're afraid one of us, you know what I'm saying, it could overpower whatever, right? All right. So we run out of bread, right? We don't have nothing to eat, and all that's left is our pet cats. Yep. So right in front of us, they slaughter our pet cats that we've had your whole life that you've loved that slept in the bed with you that everything now remember we hadn't had done nothing but ate a couple pieces of bread and drank on some water for weeks we're starving to death and they put they they slaughter them and cook them and we make us they like literally make us, make us watch them do that right okay. and they fry them or whatever and then they give us a plate full like would you eat it I would be super reluctant I wouldn't want to but I probably would end up doing it just so I don't die. I wouldn't want to, though. It's not like I'd be like, hey, let's go, cat. It's a lot different saying that kind of stuff, something you've known for your whole life. There's people you... who raise cows from the time they're born to the time they kill them. Well, yeah, but that whole time you know they're going to die. While you're cat, you don't know that someone's gonna break in your house, hold you hostage, you're gonna run out of food, and then they're gonna kill in front of you, and then you're gonna have to eat it. But still, that you understand situation. what I'm saying? How you love that pet, whether it's a cow, a horse, a dog, a cat, a bird, a mouse, a gerbil, a rabbit, a turtle. Okay, but what does it have to do with hunting random animals you don't know in the forest, and also like you know? My point is seeing something alive and then eating it. Well, though, if I know my whole life and I actually have a connection to it that I'd be reluctant to, extremely reluctant, I'd be like, That's I That's my wanna. whole point. But if I just see a deer in the wild and, I, and I'm hungry. So you're, you're saying if you have an emotional connection to it, it would be difficult. But if you're just walking in the woods hunting for deer for to make deer jerky and you can just shoot a deer in the head and kill it because you have no emotional connection to that deer you've never seen the deer before in your life and skin it and do whatever you gotta do and eat it yeah and just like say if you were forced like tied to a chair serial killer you're get kidnapped by a serial killer right Forced with a gun to kill somebody, either somebody you've known for your whole life, say say your mom. That's different. Eating something and murdering somebody you love in your in your family is completely different. Just like situation. being held hostage and forced that your pet cat is different from hunting a deer in the wild. No, I'm not no it's not because it's saying seeing something alive and then eating it is my point. Uh, we didn't even get to finish. You have to kill either, say, your mom, who you know and love. That's or not even a question. Person, and then you gotta eat them. Guess who you pick? The person you don't know. Just like, say, just like it's easier to kill a No, deer. I'd just kill myself. If you were forced, you know what I mean. If a serial killer put a gun in my hand and said, you gotta kill. This person you love or this random stranger and go. I'd go, boom. What's he gonna do? Nothing, but you get my point. If you had to kill one of them, you couldn't kill yourself. How's he gonna stop me from killing myself? Just like how were these people gonna kidnap us like that? That could happen. It's still a dumb thing. Why would they do that? Plus... Why would they not just go get more stuff and send the itty-bitty woman out and keep the big man there? Because he, he could take us both down.
Who it's knows? A, duh. If actually if he had a gun or something, he could just shoot both of us. We we'll try to escape. Literally. That doesn't make sense either. Well, you better not never, I better not never, when you get older, walk in your house and see no kind of animal stuff nowhere. Alright. Because it's going to be gone. All and right. I ain't even going to make money off of it. I'm going to I'm going to say, Jesse, come here, look what I found. No, I can't do that because then I'll still feel sorry for it. I was going to say I'd smash it. Yeah. And, and I can't do that because then I'd still feel sorry. I'd cry. And I'd, I'd be like, well, you stole it. Okay. I would cry. Why? Because it's sad. The poor animals just roaming around and all of a sudden something some idiot shoots it and stuffs it to just sit in their living room. That makes no sense at all like a fox. Not to eat, not for nothing other than stuff it. If I were to go hunting, I'd be eating it. I wouldn't just be like, ooh, a head. I'd be like, And that's Food. my point. Yeah, I'm not one of those kind of... Okay, look. Except I still couldn't hunt and then see it alive and then eat it either, though. So, okay. hunting and fishing I is agree. not for me at all. I completely agree with your point of saying if I know something my whole life, it'd be hard and extremely difficult to eat it. But if I just see it in the wild, it's easy. I couldn't do it. I think about Bambi and all that stuff. I've seen Bambi. And it's sad. Yeah. Yeah. It was pretty sad, but like... You don't think animals have feelings? Sure they do. You, I, you can't tell me they don't. I mean, we have a precious dog right here that's got feelings. What if a bear mauls some kid? That's an animal mauling a kid, though. That's different than a human. It's different, and you know it is. Okay, look. Okay, we could go on forever. So, so you have your opinion, I have mine, and we just debate it. Okay, y'all. So, this was one-to-one -one with Mom and Son talking about hunting and fishing. Y'all let us know in the comments what are y'all's thoughts on this subject. Do y'all want a part two on this subject? Or, or y'all can give us different subjects to talk about, and we shall do that and again the opinions expressed in this video are of mine and mine alone and yeah, mine because people for some reason get offended by that kind of stuff and his and his alone say in mine and mine alone and mine and mine alone yes we shouldn't have to say that but Like he said. Anyway. You get offended. That's sad. That's all I'm going to say. And you really need to grow up. And he's definitely my kid. Again. Except for opinion. he ain't having no animal heads on no walls or dressers or coffee tables or nothing. Well, people are different. You're in third place. You ain't having nothing. I swear I'll steal them and, and go give them to well, somebody. Well, what if they're artificial and they just look realistic and you're like, Ooh, deer head, let me take it. Well, I, there's places you could take it to see if it's real. Right. So you'd literally just steal it, go to see if it's real, and then be like, Okay, I'm yep. sorry that I robbed you. Yep. And I wouldn't rob you. I'd do it right in front of your face. Okay, and I'd take it back. No, you wouldn't. Whatever. I'm going to get She's getting annoying. She's threatening me with robbery. <laughs> anyway. Uh, it's not robbery. I'm your mother. And it's not it's robbery. It's not robbery. It's not robbery. I'm if I'm telling you I'm going to do it what if right I'm in front of your face. All right. Anyway. All right, y'all. 
comment below do y'all like this the one to one with mom and son we can shorten it down where it's not so long whatever whatever this is the first episode you know what i'm saying do y'all want a part two with this subject again or, or do y'all want a different subject or just name different if name multiple subjects whatever just let us know in the comments but make sure y'all let us know yep and was this entertaining or no I thought it was fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Patreon link, merch link in the description box if y'all want to check those out. Please like this video on your way out. A lot more important than you think. And please subscribe to my channel, y'all. April G. Squad. Fist bump. Love y'all. And we'll see y'all in just a little bit. Peace, Peace out. out.